what is going on everyone it's your average programmer here and today we're going to be doing something a little different rather than coding in our normal ide which is visual studio we are actually going to be coding in edibit if you don't know edibit is an online platform that allows you to work on your problem solving skills it gives you different exercises that you can try and it checks it for you whether or not you've gotten that exercise right whether the output is correct, whether your syntax is correct, and whether your logic is correct. And it checks it for you. And it return and it gives you points if you get the answer right. And you can challenge people um, in other states and other countries. And as you can see, let's go to, well, I can't see it from here, but once I go into one of the one of these links it compares you to other people around the world can't find that so we're not going to do that right now but if you hit challenges and you hit this tab right here you can see the different languages that you can code in in edibit and of course today we're going to be coding in c sharp which is what this channel is based around and you can also choose the level of difficulty that you have here so we're going to choose easy since I haven't gone over that many things on my channel. I'm gonna hit easy. It's gonna load up some exercises for us. And these are the different exercises you can choose. It gives you an array of different exercises. So let's see, of course you can load more if these aren't enough for you. So let's go ahead and start with the first one. Check if the same case. Let's click on it and see what's going on here. So it says to create a function that returns true if an input string contains only uppercase or only lowercase letters. So as you can see, these are the examples right here. So if you pass in a string that contains only lowercase, in this case, it's true, so it returns true. In this case, it returns all uppercase, so you would return true. But in here, you have a mixture of lower uppercase and lowercase letters. So it returns false. And here as well, you have one, two uppercase letters in here. So it returns false. So we only want lowercase or uppercase letters. Let's go ahead and start this. So these are the instructions. You would hit the code tab to start. So as you can see, it sets up the function for you. You've got the access modifier. You've got whether it's static or not you've got static or instance member, you've got the return type, and you've got the parameter. So we've got a parameter of string that we're passing in, and the name of it is str. So the logic behind this, there are probably a few ways you can do this, but the most reasonable way I can think, or the way I think you can solve this is by creating an if, an if statement. So if, the string parameter that we pass in here, if str equals str dot to upper. So basically, we're comparing the string that's passed in to the uppercase version of it. So if you pass in all uppercase version, then this will return true. And we're gonna add the lowercase version right after it. We're gonna write or which is two pipe sticks, I think that's what they call it. Or if str, sorry, I'm supposed to put two equal signs, comparison operator. Or if str equals str dot to lower, then we want to return true. Don't forget your semicolon after, else, return false so again here's the logic behind it we're going to pass in a string of str or the computer is going to do it for us to check our work we're going to pass that string in if that string is equal to the uppercase version of that string or if that string is equal to the lowercase version of that string so we're going to compare it to an uppercase version a all caps version or an all lowercase version. If that's true, one of those statements is true, then we are going to return true. Else, 
we're going to return false. So let's go ahead and check our work. Let's see how we did. It takes a second. Perfect. Looks like we've passed everything. That's good. On the first try, too. So again, this is an online platform that allows you to work on your problem solving skills. I'm going to go ahead and submit. I'm going to show you what I was talking about earlier, if it allows me to. It's going to give me some points. So we're at 80 right now. So now we're at 90 and it asks you how difficult it was. We're going to say easy. And you can also view other solutions as well, how other people did it around the world. So let's go ahead and see here. Let's see how other people did it. And now, just because they do it another way doesn't mean you're wrong or doesn't mean they're wrong. It's just people have a different way of thinking. So the logic, of course, is going to be different for everyone. This takes a sec to load. Okay, so here we go. All right, so this person made it a lot simpler. This is a lot, much simpler version of it. All they did was return, since it's going to return true or false anyways, all they did was compare str to str.2 upper or str.2 lower, and it returns either true or false. So that's a pretty unique way to do it. This person used a lambda expression. Charta is upper. Okay. And you can view these different solutions. And as you can see here, you can also view their XP. Now this person has a, has a lot more XP than me, which means they spend a lot more time on here than I do. So I need to step my game up. <laughs> this person, of course, you can see the different XPs. And you can see here, you can post comments if you want. So that's what Edibit is. If you like Edibit, check it out. It's free. It's a super cool platform that checks your work for you. All you have to do is write the statements. So if you're looking to work on your problem solving skills, if you're looking to up your game when it comes to, to working on your exercises, especially if you're trying to get job ready, Edibit is a super, super cool website, super cool online platform that you can use. So that is it. And again, if you want to go back and check out some other solutions, you can do so. Remember, you can change the level of difficulty. You can go expert if you want. You can change the language if you want. You can hit JavaScript. And it'll give you questions based on these, these different factors. So once again, I hope you all enjoyed it. You have a good one. Be sure to stay safe. Stay inside. Don't go outside if it's not necessary. And make sure you all take care. Have a good one. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, hit the like button. And if you enjoyed it, and if you want to stay tuned for more, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thank you very much and have a good one.